There are so many fucking things I want to say on this subject. I don't even know where to begin. First of all, I want to address all the people who have watched my videos on agnostic atheism in the past and hearkened to my message in agreement. I have no intention of confusing or disorienting anyone with this seemingly abrupt change in my position because even though it may bear a semblance of abruptness, it is anything but sudden. When I come to a conclusion as to what I believe on a certain subject, it's not wishy-washy or indecisive. I will lay in bed and stare at the ceiling for hours doing nothing but reflecting on my thoughts until I fall asleep. And when I wake up, I will repeat the process and do it over and over again for days or even weeks. And when I finally awaken and begin to wander throughout the confines of the world, whether it be inside my house or on my way to my friend's house, I will continue to undergo that intellectual reflection. When I dwell upon my thoughts, a gargantuan tornado of shit is decimating my brain cells, and I am perpetually restless. Even when I'm trying to distract myself, like when I'm watching Lost, in the back of my mind, I'm still trying to ease my mental calamity by thinking about all the shit I was thinking of for the past X amount of hours, days, or weeks. So to all of my subscribers, my dearest friends, please do not get the impression that I'm conforming to anybody or anything or that I'm selling out. If I ever take a path amidst the harlequin forest of my life, it's to make sense of my own life. It's for my composure, my clarity, and my integrity. And no matter what contention or unrest there is between my position and the opposing positions of others, I have to remain intellectually honest with myself. Now, for the past five years, I have been an atheist. And for two of those years, I have considered myself an agnostic atheist because I have spent my life listening to the viewpoints of other atheists like Tool Time 9901, Bionic Dance, and of course The Amazing Atheist, all of whom consider or considered themselves at some point agnostic atheists. This is a good coffee, by the way. It's a black silk. It's Folgers black silk. It's fucking awesome. I love dark coffee. If it's anything but dark, it's too fucking mild. And just as a review, an agnostic atheist is someone who disbelieves in the existence of gods, but believes the existence or non-existence of a god is unknown or unknowable. And for years, I believe that was the most rational position available to me. However, as of late, I've had numerous encounters with arguments on YouTube from Gnostic atheists such as the Barking Atheist, the Messianic Manic, Yes I Am, James, and Integral Math. I don't know if Integral Math is a Gnostic Atheist or not, but he did have very convincing arguments against my arguments for Agnostic Atheism, so I'll just assume so. I had a brief comment debate with the Barking Atheist on one of his videos, and I've recently received video responses from both Yes I Am, James, and Integral Math with arguments against my Agnostic Atheism, and every video response and video in general I've seen from all four of these YouTubers were logically sound. Integral Math is particularly cool because he incorporates mathematical elements in his arguments, and he sounds like a mathematics professor, and of course, mathematics and logic are not mutually exclusive at all. Integral Math probably thinks I'm a fucking uneducated moron, but I still think he's cool. I've been dwelling on both the issues of Gnostic Atheism and Agnostic Atheism all month, and I don't want anyone to think I'm being arrogant or close-minded here, and I don't want anyone to think I have any disrespect for the theist or agnostic atheists out there, but I'm going to ask you a question. And it is a question that I sincerely resolve to be a non-trivial question to ask. What if the concept of supernatural is nothing more than a contrived, overly inflated fictional concept that was fabricated by man? What if people give the concept of supernatural more credibility than it realistically deserves? The concept of supernatural could apply to gods, spirits, afterlives, magic, etc. What reason could I possibly have for believing in any of these things? I mean, people might say that they have personal experiences because of which they believe in these things. For example, someone who believes in magic might say they have personally seen magic work firsthand. Well, I could say that Obi-Wan Kenobi's ghost appears in my bathroom and talks to me when I take a shit. The whole personal experience thing may be valid to you, but realistically it doesn't give what you advocate any credibility or probability. Some might believe in a god because people need some sort of comfort in the fact that they are going to die, and people can't accept the idea of 
sheer non-existence. Believing in a god also gives someone a sense of security. If you feel like a deity is watching over you, you might feel more confident to perform the tasks that make you anxious, like doing a job interview, performing a concert, playing a sports competition, or whatever. It also gives one a sense of comfort if a loved one is ill, or in danger, or whatever. If someone prays to a god, they'll feel as though their loved one can heal faster, be safe, or whatever need that is sought for the loved one. Of course, the concept of prayer in general is sufficiently emotionally persuasive for belief in a deity. God in hopes for something they desire, like praying for a new car, a new girlfriend, a better life, etc. Or as George Carlin says, if your sister needs an operation on her crotch, or if your brother was arrested for defecating in a mall. <laughs> Believing in a God fulfills a need. Well, it gives someone the semblance that a need is being met, or a need shall potentially be met if the believer in the God appeases the God enough by doing what the God supposedly wants him or her to do. Someone can believe in a deity all they want, but it does not make a god any more likely to exist. Why should I believe that a deity exists? First of all, a coherent definition of a god needs to be brought forth before any possibility or probability of its existence can even be justified. If no coherent definition of a god can be brought forth with distinguishable, external, tangible attributes from this god's non-existence, there's absolutely no rational reason to think one exists. Just like there's no reason to think that it's possible for the Zavav La Jazz Diargo to exist. And furthermore, there's no reason to give any credibility to the possibility or probability of a god's existence. And the same applies to the Zavav La Jazz Diargo, unicorns, dragons, magic, etc. Believing in these things is one thing, but if you for once even assert that they do exist or could exist, you need to give a coherent definition of these things. Otherwise, your assertion is nonsensical. The concept of supernatural is entirely fictional and was fabricated for the purpose of conveniently fulfilling unmet needs. I know that no gods exist. Does this make me arrogant and close-minded? If I am, then you're arrogant and close-minded if you don't think unicorns exist or the Zavlava Jazdi Argum exists. We need to open our eyes and wake the fuck up. Wake up and smell the black silk, bitches. You know, in one of TJ's recent videos, he said something about debates on the internet. I've never, have you ever argued with someone on the internet and had them respond back like, you know what? That's a very good point. I have to think about that. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's never fucking happened. I would like to extend a sincere thank you to the barking atheist, the messianic manic, yes I am James in integral math for opening up my eyes. Thank you. After hearing what these four guys have had to say, I just can't continue to undertake the term agnostic any longer. If anyone feels like trying to convert me back into an agnostic atheist, or even a theist for that matter, feel free. I've changed my position once, and I can do it again. But you better pack some heavy fucking firepower this time. Much of biohazardous clown load to the juggle of fan, bitches. I am the Dark Lord Massacreature. Stick to your guns and light your own path. Biohazard.